These heavy rain bands working the way through town had a nice break in the rain earlier, but now with uh, Sydney kid, he's spinning really well defined circulation here. This is our visible satellite, of course, just taking a, a really pers good perspective of the system here. And as it sits here, just kind of south of the Crawley area, of Louisiana, kind of spinning slowly, going to be working its way to the northwest and turning to the north right near the state line as we headed to tonight. But all these bands of rain and clouds continue coming on the back side of it, and they're going to be heading up our way. Winds right now are down to 50 miles per hour, so it is weaker, which we figured it would be with northwest motion there around 10 miles per hour pressure 996 millibar so that's down a little bit but there's drier air coming in coming right over the area this morning helped to keep us fairly dry now landfall tomorrow you can see by 7 a.m. it'll be inland so somewhere between say about midnight and 7 a.m. making landfall there right near Sabine Pass Beaumont Port Arthur area in Texas and then it continues on its track up toward the Shreveport area and then eventually losing its tropical characteristics as it gets into the Tennessee Valley will be absorbed with a cold front up there now for those tides by the way, some of you've been asking about that we are now in high tie currently over in the Shell Beach Lake Bourne area, so not too far away uh, from where Katie was, and that's why we're seeing that water coming on in there. Uh, the high tide is at noon today, so right now, and you can see some of the other tides a little bit later. Slidell I-10 area, 2 p.m. is our high tide today, and we already had the high tide in Grand Isle earlier this morning. It's 7 o'clock for low tide tonight. Tornado threat is still there, too. We had that one warning a little bit ago here in the New Orleans area. Fortunately, we didn't see anything coming from that, which is good news. Now, our system there, you can see south of Lake Charles, but the bands of rain and really heavy rain back Back in Florida Mobile, they've been really plagued with a lot of rain as well as the Mississippi coast, especially last night. This line is slowly working its way here off to the west down near Grand Isle, Buras area. Some heavy rain continues to fall all the way through much of Plaquemines Parish. Coming on into Grand Isle, a little break for you, but the heavy rain coming on into Lafitte, Jean Lafitte area. And this batch getting over to where Point La Hache around, uh, say, 1221. Bell Chase around 1259. Here in the city around 112. Uh, this holds together and makes it all the way up here to the city. Right now, the batch of rain we did have is now in the Metairie, Kenner area, heading off to to the parts of the uh, east of us or west of us rather and we do have a flood advisory for Jefferson Orleans Plaquemines, and St. Bernard Parish is till 2 o'clock because of that band of heavy rain moving on in downtown area. You can see here again looking better if you're going to lunch right now. Still a little breezy. Heaviest rain kind of working its way on not too far away from the Wagaman West Bank area heading to Bridge City, River Ridge, Harahan areas that typically get street flooding. You're going to get that right now as this band moves through parts of Metairie Kenner area as well heading up to the western part of the lake on into parts of Southern Tangipahoe Parish. We're talking Hammond area. Back over toward Ponchatoula, some more heavy rain coming on shore. Also, Madisonville, Covington, Mandeville getting a little bit of some heavy downpours here, and it continues up to the uh, uh, Washington Parish, Franklin area, getting some pretty good rains. But the Mississippi coast, as Ashley was talking about, fairly dry at the moment. Now, the dry air we had is now moving off to the west a little bit. That's opening up now the corridor for us to get more of that moisture coming on in. And as that happens, that's when our heavy rain bands will continue to build into the area. But we've had quite a bit of heavy rain out there. Let's talk to Alex now with more on how much we picked up. Thanks, Dave. And as you were saying, over in some uh, portions of the area way to the west of where or uh, excuse me east of where we are we have seen some of our highest totals over near Pensacola and along the Alabama coast as well here in the New Orleans uh, kind of metro area and into our Mississippi counties we have seen up to about one or two inches at the low end and then closer to six or seven inches on the high end so far here were some of our highest rainfall totals today it is still though coming down notice for New Orleans and Metro it's about an inch, but we have just added a good bit onto that as we saw this downpour kind of currently still moving over. How much rain could we get as we head into the next day or so? Our Euro model going with about three to maybe four or five inches of rain and our precision cast model going with about one to three. So we're saying about three, maybe on the high end, up to six inches of rain still to come. So quick look at the rain Q&A scattered storms, as we've been saying with breaks today, tonight and tomorrow. Another three to six inches with the flash flood watch still in effect, and we are watching for some of those severe storms with potential water spouts or brief tornadoes. Today, high temperatures only in the low 80s, continuing windy through the day, and then our scattered showers and storms continue tonight with that wind still from the southeast up to about 30 or 40 miles per hour. Here's precision cast by 3 p.m. Still some downpours in the area, although as I showed you earlier, we may get a break by about 2, 5 p.m. for the commute home, possibly a bit quieter for some spots. I know that would be welcome. Then by 8 p.m., we may see a brief uh, kind of calming down of some of the 
the action. Overnight, though, we could see more 6 a.m. tomorrow through the daytime hours. Some more scattered downpours wrapping up perhaps by Friday morning. But on Friday, as we've been saying, we may get another round of your more typical afternoon showers and storms about a 50% rain chance by Friday. So count on it today.